All right, guys, so this is a real quick video to show you how this uh, tap tempo unit works with the MXR. So the MXR has been um, modified a little bit. You'll notice there's actually an RCA cable that attaches where the delay knob used to be. And that RCA cable runs and connects back here. And then it just powers off a normal 9-volt power supply, just like the MXR uh, normally does. The mix and the uh, regen knobs still work normally. So uh, here is a uh, yeah, clean signal, and I'm videoing one hand and playing the other, so anyway. Turn the carbon copy on. There's your normal carbon copy. Turn the mix way up. And of course, regen works the same. Feedback. Anyways. But... This piece right here is really cool because it adds a lot of functionality. So you can control the delay with the delay knob here. Slow the delay time down. Really slow. Gives you up to one second as well or speed it back up like normal. Or what's really cool is you got tap tempo right here. So there you go. There's tap tempo speed or faster. And the carbon copy is still totally analog, still true bypass. This doesn't change anything. It just controls the BBD chips in there. Um, you also have uh, the setting here. So this is tap tempo. you got regular just quarter notes uh, or dotted eighth to whatever you tap. So this is the dotted eighth of that. If you want to do some U2 stuff or triplets. Anyway, you guys understand how that works. Also, you know, the... Um, Carbon Copy has a modulation that you can pretty much set on and off, and normally you control it with uh, little trim pots inside, which basically is a set and forget. But now with this, you actually control the rate and depth of your modulation. So if I want to pull the rate, or actually let's crank the rate way up and make the depth go down low, you can get really spacey. Yeah, that's wacky doodle there. Let's see, let's do it just a little bit. Nice. There we go. There's a nice. Real chorusy style mod modulation. Anyway, that's really cool. And another feature this has is it has four different banks that you can save uh, presets to. So this middle LED, if it's not on, that's bank one, basically. And every time you hit this switch, it changes bank. So no light is bank one. Green light is bank two. Red light is bank three and orange light or yellow light is bank four and it's back to off so you have four different banks to choose from and you can save all the settings so let's do this let's uh okay so we're in bank one we'll set the delay to about there it's a triplet set crazy depth and rate so it's going to sound really weird but then we want to write this to this bank so over here we got a little right switch oops sorry i moved the video over here we got a little right switch and this red not uh, led says that it is ready so is this red Flip the right switch down and back up, and you notice it flashes. So now we've just saved these settings to bank one. Go on to bank two. Let's make some different settings here. I'm just throwing some weirdness out there, so we'll see what this all sounds like. Let's actually slow that down and do quarter. All right, so this will be bank two. We'll write to bank two. Flashed. Okay, now we're saved to bank two. So now we can switch all the way back around. Here's bank one already saved. Yep, it's weird. Oh, that's cool, actually. Neat. Anyways, so that's saved to bank one, but then we switch back to bank two, and what we had on bank two is saved. So basically, this uh, tap tempo controller makes the carbon copy like a legitimate analog delay pedal. Now it has all the great sound that it always had before, but you also have four bank saves, plus tap tempo, plus you can control the modulation and different delay ratios. So uh, really, really adds a lot of functionality to the carbon copy. And yeah, sorry this video is so long. I tried to keep it short, but there's a lot to this pedal. So there you go.